Hello, my YouTube friends. I'm going to do a quick what's in the pocket along with a review of one of the knives that is in the pocket. Starting out, I'm carrying in uh, my leather GEC case, a Brother Knives Warncliffe slip joint. Cars going by, of course. Carbon fiber uh, covers, nickel silver bolster, Warncliffe blade, VG10 steel. This is the 1508, I think. Yeah, 1508. Great little knife. Good snap. Good walk and talk. But uh, the one I want to review today is the QSP Gannet. I decided I want to start adding, uh, I've been doing mostly fixed blades. I want to start adding some folders in here too. And this is a really good one right here. Uh, QSP is doing some great things here. I'm really, really pleased with the quality of them. This one is uh, black carbon fiber, or I'm sorry, black Macarta uh, covers with carbon fiber, red carbon fiber bolster. It's a front flipper. Stainless steel liners, stainless steel deep carry pocket clip, liner lock. It is pretty solid too, probably about 70 to 75 percent lock up. Great action, 154 cm blade, front flipper. The overall length is 7.75 inches. There we go. 7.75 inches. The blade is three and a quarter inches. Uh, 154 cm steel. Drop point flat ground blade. Um, the handle is four and a half inches long, so plenty of grip. And it comes in at about 3.44 ounces. Uh, these are currently going for 82.50 on Blade HQ. And that seems to pretty much be the standard price for them. It's just a great, really nice, uh, the finish on the blade is satin, but it looks almost like it's a hand rub satin. Obviously it isn't, not at that price. It's machine finish, but they did a really, really nice job of it. I don't know how well that's showing up, but uh, flat grind comes down to a nice thin edge, very slicey blade. Action is outstanding. It's just very smooth, very easy to front flip it. That's the only deployment method is the front flip, but it's very easy to do so. Great looking knife, slim in the pocket, easy to carry, deep carry. Uh, it's got, an, I don't know if you can see, but it's got internal stop pins, so there's no stop pin in the way there. Good solid lock up, no up and down side to side play. I'm not sure what the backspacer is, if it's a G10 or just some kind of plastic, but whatever it is, the fit and finish is very nice. Everything's very smooth, rounded off, no sharp edges except for where it's supposed to be sharp. Um, they could have done a little better on the plunge grind. The, the blade terminates right at the plunge line. Um, you're not going to get too many sharpeners before you start to get a smile. But because there's no uh, stop pin to worry about, um, it'd be very easy to just take a, uh, a Dremel and just touch it just a little bit you'd only have to go a very little bit to expand that but for right now anyways it's all right um, depends on how many times you sharpen it as to whether or not that's going to become an issue I guess um, fit and finish is just outstanding even with your thumbnail you can't tell the difference between the micarta and the carbon fiber uh, it's just an outstanding job ball bearing pivots like I said the action is just silky smooth this is just a really good knife um, Mostly open, about half of it's open, the rest got the back spacer, but it'd be real easy to just blow that out. Centering's dead smack down the middle. Uh, the uh, uh, screws for the um, pocket clip are not recessed, but they're kind of uh, the, the mushroom top like button top, but uh, it's not a problem. It comes in and out of the pocket really easy, and the clip itself is recessed. Unfortunately for you lefties, it's right hand tip up carry only no le no lefty love on this one but all in all an excellent knife um, I wanted to start doing a little more uh, uh, folder reviews I'm working on coming up with a setup to start doing at least the folder reviews anyways inside so we don't have the traffic noise going by anymore um, that should be coming soon but as it stands right now I don't have really uh, any place to with good lighting or anything to set up and do it right now but I said I'm working on that so bear with me hopefully it'll get better QSP Gannett outstanding knife I can highly recommend it I don't really have too many nitpicks about it um, I really enjoy this one 
Uh, the only nitpick I'd really come up with is T8 pivot, but the body screws and clip screws are T6, and I'm not a fan of T6 screws. But uh, that's fairly common, unfortunately. I can live with it. But, and uh, the sharpening choil, those are the only two real downsides I can see to this knife, other than I know some people don't like front flippers. But uh, this one is very, very easy. The jimping is done well on the flipper tab, so it's I've never had any problem with slipping off the tab or anything. It's, been, uh, it's worked really very well for me. But uh, like I said, bear with me. Um, I'm going to do more folders, and hopefully I'll be getting a setup to do them inside where we don't have to listen to the cars go by and all that. Uh, not to mention that come winter time, I'm not going to want to sit out here and do reviews. But... Uh, I'm working on it, working on improving everything and getting it set up so that I can do a little better job at it. Um, and also a reminder that I'm at uh, three subs away from 250. Once I hit 250, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So uh, if you like what you see, tell your friends about it. Get me three more subs and uh, we'll be doing a giveaway. It's going to be a good one too, SCPR4. So, uh, donated by uh, my friend over at Knife Video Channel. If you haven't uh, subscribed to him, you should go over and take a look. See what uh, see what he's about. He does a lot of knife, uh, not really knife reviews. It's more show and tell. Um, he does a lot of spider coat collectibles, uh, sprit runs, that kind of thing. Um, does a lot of fixed blades as well. Um, got some great content. He's a hell of a nice guy. Uh, he just donated those uh, two knives for me to use as giveaways just out of the blue. Um, I never asked him to do it. I had no idea he was going to do it. Just out of the blue, he sent me an email and said, Hey, I'm sending you a couple knives. So, excellent guy. This community never ceases to amaze me, I'll tell you. But, uh, anyways, stay blessed, stay safe, stay cool, and have a great day. See ya.